Okay, I got the plywood on the lower part of the wall. Not too much of a problem, but now I have to get those heavy but now I have to get those heavy sheets up there and I think I'm going to get some help from some dead men. If you're not familiar with dead men, it's just something that is inanimate that helps you get your job done. Say this is the top of the ply that's already there. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just screw a 2x4, a chunk of 2x4. I'll rip the edge nice and flat because they have them rounded corners, kind of like that. So I'll rip that flat and then screw it in two places where my plywood's going to go. In this case, we have a six foot chunk of plywood going in so I'll put one right in here and one right in there and like I said it's going to be flush with the top usually you just use nails when you're going from side to side but this is going to be quite heavy and we're going to be maneuvering it and we're not going to have a whole lot of room to play around. So what we're going to do is take a stir stick, a paint stir stick, and just take some tape and tape it on to the two before and have it sticking out just a bit, but going all the way back up to the wall. That'll be my eighth inch spacer. And then what we have to do, because we have this F and J molding up at the top, I do believe that's one inch. So what we'll do, if it's one inch, I think we'll cut the panels three eighths of an inch shy of what they need to be. Well, actually a half inch. So we'll have the eighth inch here and three eighths at the top. So we'll put the panel in like that, go up into the F and J. We only have that three eighths of an inch and then drop it down onto this spacer and then get one screw in then we can remove the blocking and hopefully get this out without too much of a hassle it shouldn't be too hard and then we'll throw a couple more screws in there and we should be good to go the biggest problem is going to be getting those heavy sheets up onto the scaffolding and then having two people work with them. This six foot one isn't going to be as bad as this eight foot one that's next. So what I'm thinking is I can shove that up from the side here and lean it up against the wall. I'm going to screw some handles to it. And I think I'll have to set up a ladder right here. I'll just go on the ladder. Yeah, we'll move this down a little bit and set up a ladder. And I'll go up the ladder and lift it from out here. Actually, I think we'll move this over that way. So whoever's up on the platform, it'll either be my daughter or her boyfriend. They'll be able to use both hands on the cleats. And I'll just use my right hand or right arm and we'll lift it i just got to get it yeah i'll be on this side i can get it lined up with that line there and the other person once it's up there the dead men are going to hold all the weight so it's basically just lifting it into place and then the dead men take over and we just have to keep it up against the wall and we'll have our screw shooters sitting up here and just throw that one screw in and that should do it whole lot of theory here let's get that panel cut i'm going to measure from the edge of the plywood here over to this line right here and then get a complete measurement or a full measurement up from into the f and j up there down to the plywood 
and we'll subtract a half inch there and we should be good to go. All right, I have one panel all ready to go. It's trimmed at the top at about 43 inches. That's not important, but it's cut to six feet wide or six feet long. And we have our screw pattern drilled all the way around. And I have some handles that are just scrap wood. Unfortunately, even though I drilled pilot holes, it split these blocks here, but that shouldn't matter. That'll still work. I cut some new ones for the next panel because this Douglas fir is just a really splittable wood. All right, I'm ready to go with the panel, but I still need to get the insulation in the wall. And that's going to take a little bit because I got to keep going up and down the ladder. So... Let me get that done, and then I will come back. I don't think you need to see any of that. I did that in yesterday's video. This is the insulation here. It's acoustic insulation, and it's made from recycled jeans and stuff. This stuff works really good, but it's starting to swell up. I only have an inch and a half of space there, and this will swell up to the full three and a half inches of a wall bay. And you can fluff it as well like that to get it to swell. But I don't want it to swell. So I put a bunch of weight on what's left. And as it comes out of the bundle there, it's right at about that inch and a half that I need. So I'll get that stuff cut and get it in place and then we'll go get somebody and get this first panel in yeah this is taking forever but it is what it is we want it done right it is a real pain in the butt cutting this stuff even with this brand new scissor i've been using this old fiskers and that seems to be the only thing that cuts it i tried a wire cutter and a big utility scissor and an electric knife. The electric knife works great on rock sole or rock wool, but not so much on anything else. All right, I got all this stuff in and I was gonna go get some help to put the panel on. And while I was putting this last piece in, I remembered that I did not route the back for these brackets. I'll have to tape this stuff when it's time. I'll come back up here and make sure none of this stuff, I don't want it sitting on top of any of the wood. Yeah, I'll just tape this edge. But I got a bunch of dimensions and I have to go flip that over. Should be able to do it with the handles on there. Go flip that over, reset up the router, and get that routed. I think I've been working on this for three or four hours, this one panel. Yeah, definitely going to take a full two days. I lifted this thing up there a couple minutes ago and I had forgotten the dead men. The most important thing. Yeah, that would have been a tragedy. So, like I drew earlier, these blocks I ripped a little bit. Well, actually this was a two by six and I ripped it in half. So we got a nice flat edge and that is flush with the top of the plywood. And then we got a paint stick here, which is an eighth of an inch thick, and it's taped onto the top of it. 
and I don't have any tape on top of the ply. That's just so it doesn't get caught in there. You could see why these need relief where these tie plates are. So we got two of these in place. I got to get rid of any of the stuff that's sticking out like this tape here and a couple little bulges and stuff here and there. Then I'll put that plywood back up here again and then go get somebody to help. Yeah, this has been a really long day so far and I can see I got a lot of stuff done, but really nothing to show for it yet until this panel's in place. All right, let me deal with this and we'll go get somebody. Well, we got the first panel up and the camera malfunctioned and did not record it. But we'll get this next one. Basically, my daughter's boyfriend came out, climbed up here, I climbed up here, and I told him what we needed to do to tip it at an angle and slide it up into the F and J up there and to not knock these off in the process, these dead men, and then rest it on the dead men, push it up flat, and I'll throw a screw in. It literally took from the time he came out here, I gave all the instructions and until this was on, probably a minute and a half and he was back out of here. It took him longer to get his shoes on to come out here than to do that. I got a few screws in here. I'm going to take these off, get the rest of the screws in and we are already real late in the day. This next one only gets one cut and then the screw holes, and then it gets put up. It'll have the handles put on it as well, but I have all of the stuff made. I have these dead men made, the handles, all that stuff. So the next one's gonna go a lot quicker, but that'll have to be tomorrow. So, well, I'll put it on this same video. We'll get both of those in real quick and we'll film that one going in. Yeah, that went much smoother than I thought, which is a good thing. Okay, let me get the rest of the screws in that. And I will see you again tomorrow when we're ready to put that next one in. Okay, I have this one trimmed to size. I have the handles on it, got all the screw holes done. Yeah, I forgot to mention that when we put this one up and in there, it's sitting on the dead men and the F and J molding at the top is holding it in. So it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't even have to throw a screw in real quick. It'll just stay there. All right, we have two dead men again, and this time we have two nails to space it from here. Hopefully that panel is pretty square. Some of these are kind of squirrely, but it's not going to matter in the long run, but I'd rather have it look kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is get the panel and set it on here and then adjust my ladder over to here somewhere and then pull the panel out over the ladder a little bit. I think that's my plan. And then we'll do just like we did last time. He'll climb up the end there and grab his handle. I'll get my handle from this side and up into the F and J molding and down onto the dead men and then slide it over until it's touching the nails over here. Okay, that's the theory. We'll get the sawdust off of this so it's not dropping in my eyes and then I will go get him or my daughter. I'm not sure who's going to be the helper, but we'll get one of them. Okay, 
All right, everything went smooth again. Our gaps look really nice. Yeah, everything is going really well on getting these top panels in place. Got one more to go, but I got a lot of stuff to do on this one yet. I got a whole bunch of screws to put in. I'm gonna have to move this so I can get at things easier. And then I'll have to remove all that stuff and put it on the next panel and get the size of that one figured out. That one needs to be routed on the back for those brackets. And we have a bracket plus the F and J up in the corner there. I got to take off for that as well. So it's a smaller panel, but it's going to have more machining than this one did. But shouldn't be too hard. I'll get this done today. All right, let me get all that stuff done with this panel and we'll get back when I'm working on that one. All right, last one here. I'm not gonna put handles on it and I'm obviously gonna do this one myself. This uh, weighs probably 20, 30 pounds, something like that. nearly a half sheet this fits. It's going to be a little tight. Beautiful. And we have a fairly good gap right here. This is going to get a J molding onto the panel and then we're going to have steel going that way. But yeah, that looks real nice. Well, the bad news is this place is a total mess, but the good news is I have another wall done. At least I have the plywood up. And that was something that had me kind of worried, you know, doing those upper panels, but that went a lot easier than I thought it was gonna go. Next thing to do is the detailing around the door. I have that puttied, but I'm going to have to get in here and shape this. Shouldn't be much of a problem. And then we have priming and painting and caulking of the wall itself. I think once I get this wall done to the same level as this wall, I think I'll go ahead. There's a piece of trim that goes on the top of this wall. It's going to cover the screws and then a tin chair molding that goes over that f and j or not f and j just j molding on both sides but i can't do that side until that wall is on but i can do the vast majority of it put my j molding in and then this gets the same tin as the ceiling it'll follow the same lines and then come down and end on that chair molding Thing is I need that in place so that I can run my electrical up to the ceiling and run my air lines up there and all that stuff without that tin in place I can't run any of that stuff and then put the tin behind it so that's probably the next thing I'll be doing once this wall is done but the next video should be of the painting of this wall Thank you.